will study about the brain of ox uh, that is bovine brain so brain contains mainly uh, four parts that is the fore brain mid brain and hind hind brain the fore brain also called as prosencephalon it contains telencephalon and diencephalon so telencephalon if we come it first one is the rhinencephalon so rhinencephalon will be in the ventral ventral most part part and uh, rostral part of the brain okay <clears throat> now the rhinencephalon contains mainly the olfactory bulb <coughs> so these are the olfactory bulb uh, then the olfactory uh, peduncle so this is a peduncle which attaches the olfactory bulb and uh, these two on the lateral side are the olfactory stray so these two are the olfactory stray that is lateral olfactory stray and medial olfactory stray uh, and <coughs> these two uh, portions are called as the piriform lobe so these two are the piriform lobe the medial and lateral olfactory stray along with the olfactory bulb all three combined will form the olfactory trigome so the rhinencephalon uh, uh, apart from the olfactory uh, bulb peduncle tract and trigome it contains the hippocampus so these two are the hippocampus that is just like the uh, just like the horns of a sheep so these two are the hippocampus so the next part of the telencephalon is the cerebral hemisphere so this is the cerebral hemisphere containing the uh, mainly it contains cerebral cortex so entire thing is the cerebral cortex along with the basal ganglia so basal ganglia uh, it's a microscopic structure actually so it will be uh, they they are nothing but they are uh, gray matter embedded in the white matter of the uh, uh, cerebral cortex so that is a basal ganglia basal ganglia has four parts that is uh, caudate nucleus lenticular nucleus claustrum and amygdaloid body so all these four makes the basal ganglia okay the next part of the fore brain or the pros and cephalon is the diencephalon so diencephalon mainly contains the thalamus so this round portion is called as the thalamus above this is the epithalamus or the pineal gland so pineal body uh, makes the epithalamus this is the thalamus and then comes the hypothalamus which is this portion so this is the hypothalamus and it also uh, consists of this uh, metathalamus which contains uh, the medial and lateral geniculate bodies so thalamus epithalamus hypothalamus metathalamus uh, and along with the third ventricle so this is the third ventricle from here to here this gap is the third ventricle all these things will make the diencephalon okay and the next part is the uh, mesencephalon or the midbrain so mesencephalon contains many tectum tegmentum and crura cerebri or the cerebral peduncle so tectum mainly consist of the corpora quadrigemina these four structures are the corpora quadrigemina uh, the anterior two are called as rostral colliculi posterior two are called as posterior colliculi so the all these four parts makes tectum then comes the tegmentum so tegmentum uh, is also called red nucleus which will be under this and uh, then comes the cerebral peduncle so cerebral peduncle are the ones that attaches the cerebral cortex to rest of the uh, brain so these these two are the cerebral peduncles this and this okay the next part of the brain or the third part is the hind brain or rhombencephalon so rhombencephalon will contain metencephalon and mylencephalon so metencephalon mainly contains the pons and the <coughs> cerebellum so pons and cerebellum makes the metencephalon okay these two ray structures are the pons and pons is the place of origin of trigeminal nerve so these two portions are the trigeminal nerve and coming to the cerebellum so cerebellum mainly consists of the vermis this is the vermis and two cerebral hemispheres that is a lateral two cerebral hemisphere vermis on dissecting this we will get a tree like pattern called as arbor vitae so these are all the arbor vitae of, vitae of the cerebellum now the uh, second portion of the hind brain or the rhombencephalon is the mylencephalon so mylencephalon is mainly made up of medulla oblongata so after the pons caudal to the pons is a medulla oblongata which will then continue down as the spinal cord and these two are the pyramidal tracts which are the, which are the motor descending tracts the major motor descending tract of the brain is the pyramidal tracts 
So the depressed portion here is the fossa lateralis. So this is called the fossa lateralis. Okay, now we'll study about the ventricles of the brain. So the brain has mainly four ventricles. Two lateral ventricles on either side, the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle. Okay, now the third ventricle is placed just below the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum, this portion, hard structure, is the connection between the two cerebral hemispheres. Okay, now the uh, third ventricle, uh, so the lateral ventricle in, uh, on the inner surface has a tuft of capillary network called as the choroid plexus. So this choroid plexus is the place of origin of cere cerebrospinal fluid, so CSF production. And the, there is no connection between the lateral ventricles because it is separated by this portion is called as the septum pellucidum. So this is the septum pellucidum separating the uh, lateral ventricles. So the lateral ventricle and the third ventricle is connected so this is the third ventricle. The lateral ventricle and the third ventricle is connected by foramen of Munro. So foramen of Munro. After that comes the uh, fourth ventricle. So right from here it is the fourth ventricle. And this connection between the third ventricle to fourth ventricle is the aqueduct of Sylvius. So this portion is the aqueduct of Sylvius connecting the third to fourth. Now the fourth ventricle has on the upper side on, the, on, the, on its dorsal side, it is uh, protected or covered by a layer of pia matter. So this is a layer of pia matter called as the anterior and posterior medullary velum. So it is a fold of pia matter, anterior, vel, post, anterior medullary velum and posterior medullary velum. And the fourth ventricle is connected to the spinal canal uh, by two foramen called as foramen of Lushka and Magendi.